just uh, Mr. Adderhold, so yeah. recognized. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I want to commend the uh, Ms., uh, Dr. Harris for bringing this uh, amendment up. Uh, I'd like to associate myself with uh, the comments that he made, and I would urge my colleagues to uh, support the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Adderholt. Uh, any further discussion? Uh, Judge Carter is recognized. I'd also like to associate myself with this amendment. Further discussion, uh, Dr. Harris, to close. A minute. Thank you very much. I appreciate the comments of the ranking member. No question about it. These are tough decisions. Mr. Chairman, I'll just leave with, with two other points. One is, and I'll ask unanimous consent, disability groups are the leading opponents of these kinds of, uh, these kinds of measures. And I'm going to ask the United States Senate to submit a letter to the record of a group of disability groups that, that oppose this, that, that support the amendment, oppose the policy. Accept it. And the other point is, and one of the reasons why the disability groups are worried about this is because in the current health care system, we have something called value-based care, and we have this thing called gain sharing. So that actually the health care providers are actually employees of the system that occasionally insures patients, and they actually benefit from cost savings. Ladies and gentlemen, CAR-T therapy that was, uh, that was endorsed by the FDA yesterday is darn expensive. And a shot of lethal injection is darn cheap. Don't put society in, in, the, in the position of making that decision. I, this doesn't remove the ability of a patient to commit suicide. It just says, let's get a health care provider out of that situation, potentially one that has a, has a uh, financial conflict. I move the amendment. 